breaking news, a trade in the NFL. No, the Cowboys aren't directly involved, but they are indirectly involved. Mike Fisher reporting from Frisco as the NFL draft is almost upon us. And some teams doing some last minute house cleaning, last minute shuffling. Teddy Bridgewater, the quarterback, traded from Carolina to the Denver Broncos. Carolina, of course, picks at eight. The Broncos, of course, pick at nine. Cowboys pick at 10. What does any of this have to do with Dallas? Let's walk through it. Because in the end, you're going to see why this is a wrench thrown into the Cowboys thinking um, and a trip back to the drawing board to some degree for the Cowboys as well. Point number one, we know the Panthers selecting at eight love cornerback J.C. Horn. Logic, though, suggests that they certainly have to think about seizing this chance, with all due respect to Sam Arnold, who they just acquired, to take a franchise quarterback. A Justin Fields is still sitting there at eight, and you pass on him for a cornerback? That would seem like a dubious decision to me, but entirely possible they do like J.C. Horn. The Cowboys need the Panthers to take the quarterback, or they lose a serious function, uh, serious focus option in Horn at 10. Point number two, but fine. Horn goes to Carolina. Here comes Denver at nine. And they're in a very similar circumstance. They've got Teddy and Drew Locke. Does that take them out of the quarterback sweepstakes? Do they say, oh, you know, we're, 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 we're okay now. We're pretty good now. Or do they say, boy, again, Justin Fields, let's say, still sitting there. Let's take our crack at it. Or do they take Patrick Sertan, the Alabama cornerback? Point number three, if Sertan and Horn are both gone, and we'll assume the tight end Pitts and the offensive lineman Sewell are long gone, Dallas failing to get its stated wish that the quarterbacks all go early. Stephen Jones is actually on record as saying we're, we're excited about all the quarterbacks going early. Dallas then finds itself sitting there with the choices of A, Offensive lineman Rashawn Slater, nothing wrong with that. B, linebacker Micah Parsons, might be a little high, but they do need defensive help here. Three, a wide receiver, and then a shopping effort to trade down. Or D, a quarterback is sitting there for them, and then a shopping effort to trade down. We've already covered the idea of the Eagles maybe moving up to seal Sertan. We've already covered the idea of Carolina liking Horn. Now we might need to gauge Dallas's relative love for these corners and the Cowboys' consideration of their own move up. None of this marks a disaster for Dallas. There is nothing wrong with Slater at 10. And ultimately, if you get value for trading back, especially if a quarterback is sitting there at 10, Chicago calls you, New England calls you, that can work too. But it's imperfect. It's not the original plan. It is a wrench thrown into the Cowboys' NFL draft proceedings. Fish in Frisco, out.